Hello, this is Barry Nirmal. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe link below. Hello friends, in this video I will tell you how I repaired my water hose and that was leaking. See this hose here? This one is connected to the, uh, to the water tap. This one was connected to this, the, the other hose here, uh, through here like this. This one was a connection here. And then this side, there was a leak, okay, in, in the pipe. And then I thought I could replace this one, just get rid of this. So I tried to open this joint here. This joint here, I tried to open it like this. And, uh, and then in the process of opening, uh, I could not close it, I could not open completely. And when I turned the water on, the water started leaking here also. The, the water started leaking in this uh, hose and also at this joint. So I said, let me get rid of it. So I cut the, uh, the, the portion where there was leak. I cut it out with a knife. See the kitchen, this is just a kitchen knife uh, with a serrated edge that I used to cut meat. So I just, it's very easy to cut it. You just, just cut it like this. It's very, this, this thing is made of plastic. So you just cut with a sharp knife. And then I went to Home Depot and I bought a device called hose mender. It's called hose mender. It looks like this. Okay? Uh, it has one metal part and then two clamps. That's it, okay? So this clamp, you insert into this. You insert into, into this here. And then you take one end of this and you, you, you insert into this. And then you bring it the clamp here, bring it on top of the of the top of the metal. Okay? Bring it on top of the metal, okay, and then you tighten it, okay. And then the other side, see the other end, other hose end, you insert like this. No, sorry, you have to put this first. You have to put this on top first, and then you take the hose and then you put it on top, okay. And then you, if you want, you can close it. You can go on top of this hose, okay? You have to go on top of the, uh, you have to go on top of the, uh, the metal. Let me open a little bit. And then, Then you tighten it with a screw, flat head screwdriver. You just uh, tighten it. Now it's good to tighten it well because the water pressure will uh, will try to open it. So it's good to tighten it well. Of course, you don't have to overdo it. Okay, now it's done. Now, let me open the water, okay? Let me open the, uh, the water. See the slight, slight leak here? It's because it's not tight. See, if you make it tight, it should be okay. Just make it tight.
Okay, no, no, no leak. Okay, now, now there's no leak here. And on this side, if you look at this side here, see, this one here, see, this is working good. So this is how I repaired. Now, at one point, I had thought of uh, getting rid of the old hose and put a new hose. The new hose, 50 feet, costs at least $40, okay? And if it is 100 feet, now this is a very good quality hose. So uh, at least 45, this tax, it costs $45. Now this one, this device I bought from Home Depot, cost me only $5. So in Home Depot, you can find it in the garden center where they have plants. Okay, so go there and they have, uh, where they have tools like uh, rakes and the, uh, and the shears to cut the branches of the tree, the, the tools like that, there, there they have this tool, so buy it. There's also a tool where if you have, uh, if you have the, the, the male end missing or male end is broken, you cut the pipe and you insert it to the pipe, and the other side has a male end, a male, uh, male end. And then there is another one which has female end. Hello. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe link below. Also write your comments in the comment section below. Spread the word, you can share this video with your friends by clicking on the share button below and you can share it with uh, WhatsApp, with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and by sending email to your friends.